there's sick people out there, man, on the internet. Yes, hell yes. Mr. Red Gaze. I'm a big fan. Uh, I've been watching all your videos. Uh, it's an honor to share uh, tonight with the Gaze community. Hello and welcome. Today we have to have a little chat about a fellow named Drunk3PO. Once again, I have to bring this man to my channel. Uh, we need to discuss Jay's coded messaging that he uses in his live streams to redirect his audience to some really disgusting, degenerate stuff. Now we're going to take a look at one of his supposed inspirational messages and uh, yeah, just delve into it a little bit. And I'm going to show you what this man is trying to do, what he's really talking about. Names and faces have been concealed to protect the innocent. When you're going through a storm, if you've ever driven through a storm, it's so hard to see, especially if the rain and the wind is coming and you got your wiper blades going, you can only see a few feet in front of you. You know what I'm saying? So you never know when it's going to end, what direction it's going to go and how it's going to hit you because you can only see so much in front of you. But you keep going through it. Because the universe can look down and know and see exactly where you are and exactly where you're going but you got to keep going through it now i want you to pay special attention to this next part because this this is where the coded messaging comes in because eventually you're going to drive out of it and you'll be able to see the sunshine again even if you're going five miles an hour just get through the storm the sunshine will come out again. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Now, it wasn't but a few hours before that particular live stream that Drunk3PO posted this, this filth on Twitter, aimed at Exaggeration Nation. He says, hey, Exaggeration Nation, Want to do a video for Geeks and Gamers on this? I'm sure D-Day Cobra would love the idea. And he's talking about... <sighs> he's talking about sunning your butthole. Now, this should really come as no surprise, uh, based on some of the other actions we've seen from this man. Um, but, yeah, he links to this article right here. Perineum Sunning is latest insanity wellness influencers swear by uh, from the New York Times. And yeah, just have a look. Just have a look. The sun will shine again. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, we know what you're talking about, drunk. We know. But let's just take a, a deeper look into this. They're soaking up some rays where the sun don't shine. What well, normally doesn't shine there. But if you're a degenerate like drunk 3PO, you have no problem dropping your drawers and, uh, you know, just spreading those cheeks to get some sun. I showed them to you. Uh, this is the hottest trend gripping wellness diehards. Uh, it's tanning their cans. <laughs> In a mere 30 seconds of sunlight on your butthole, you will receive more energy from this electric node than you would in an entire day being outside with your clothes on, says an influencer uh, who goes by Raw of Earth. In a viral video that has racked up more than 35,000 views, uh, Drunk 3PO probably being a, at least a thousand of those, uh, he gestures toward the sun as three naked men lie down, pointing their backsides to the sky and make sounds of pleasure. Hmm. Really had to add in that last part, didn't we? Ra of Earth has posted a step-by-step -step sun worship exercise pulled from the Tao of Sexology. The Book of Infinite Wisdom by Dr. Stephen T. Chang. This says the practice can help keep the area healthy and free of germs. I was there, was redoing the plumbing and pipe, and I was just showing them, like, look, this is what's happening here and stuff. Lordy. Uh, yeah, they say 30 seconds of direct sunlight injection 
to the anal orifice is equivalent to being outside in the sun all day. Uh, one Californian, surprise, surprise, claims butt chugging vitamin D only helps her sleep better, uh, but helps to regulate her hormones. Uh, for the past few weeks, I've included sunning my bum and Yoni into my daily rising routine. A woman who goes by metaphysical Megan captions an image of herself fully naked on a rock. Megan says she first learned about perineum sunning through her study of Taoism and has recently given up uh, her morning cup of coffee in favor of sunning her anus. And there she is. Ah, oh, goodness. Uh, even A-listers are sunning their bums. Uh, and we all know, we all know Drunk 3 is trying to become an A-lister. Uh, that's probably why he's in on this trend. He's trying to put it out there and uh, make it popular so he so he doesn't seem quite so strange. That would be my guess. But, uh, yeah. Another thing I like to do uh, is give my vagina a little vitamin D. I was reading an article written by an herbalist I studied about yeast infections and other genital issues. Uh, she said there's nothing better than a little vitamin D. If you're feeling depleted, go in the sun for an hour and see how much energy you can get. Or if you live in a place that has heavy winters, uh, when the sun finally comes out, spread your legs and get some sunshine. And I would love to look at it in person. So uh, this is this is what Drunk 3PO is pointing us all towards, and uh, he's using his live streams to do it. Uh, we know what you're doing, Drunk 3PO. You're you're not going to pull the wool over our eyes. Uh, I suggest maybe you pull something over your anus and stop this filth. Uh, but here below, um, we have a doctor weighing in on this. Uh, Dr. Diana Gull uh, from the UK says there is no evidence that sunbathing in this way has any effect on physical well-being. Uh, yes, practicing mindfulness and meditation and getting your dose of vitamin D is beneficial for med mental and physical health, but you don't need to damage your skin in the process from sun exposure. So there's an expert. Uh, yeah, Drunk 3PO. Get this filth off of Twitter. Uh, stop sending coded messages to the masses. If you're interested in uh, running around with your pals and... Uh, you know, exposing your butthole to the sun for extended periods of time. Uh, you're welcome to do that, brother. But you really need to stop spreading this propaganda. Stop trying to make people join you in this weird, just strange, degenerate act. And, uh, you know, get your life together, buddy. Get your life together. Uh, you're doing really well on YouTube. So, um, yeah, I mean, it pains me to expose you like this. But, but... You know, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. Someone has to be a friend and say, look, look, brother. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this but you. Uh, stop trying to pull Exaggeration Nation and uh, Jeremy into your, your sick whims. And uh, yeah, as well as the rest of us, you know. So that's, that's pretty much it here. Uh, just, just a video to warn you uh, to keep a, a closer eye on Drunk 3PO. As you know... The red gaze is always watching and ready to expose uh, your, your sick, <laughs> your sick, twisted uh, propaganda. So, uh, you, you know, and not, not exposing in the way you would like drunk, I'm afraid. So, um, yeah, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Uh, drunk, get your act together, buddy. You're better than this. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one. And I hope the next one is not something similar peace be careful what you say on youtube there are people watching that will clip and take what you say and turn it out of contents yeah <sighs> yep it didn't take long